Check your fly. BWO Spotlighty Merger. Hey, it's a blueing olive. Some people call them BWOs. This is a BWO Spotlighty Merger. I tie these for Lund's Fly Shop in River Falls, Wisconsin. Let's tie one. In my vise is a Daiichi 1180 scud hook. I am using dot olive thread for this. As you can see, I start it at about the one quarter point. And that's where I'm gonna put on my post. For this fly, I like para post material in the white color. Gotta use white, otherwise it's not a spotlight emerger. I double up that pair of posts underneath the hook, pull it straight up, and tie a few wraps of thread on the front of it. Then I move my thread to the back, wrap a two or three wraps back there. Now I'm gonna create a little base of thread just on the yarn. So as you can see, every half turn I go, I'm just on the yarn. I'm not going around the hook at all. Once I get a few wraps there on the bottom, then I can go right up the wing. I make a little thread base there, up maybe an eighth of an inch or so, and then bring my thread back down. Do a few figure eights there on the hook shank to make sure everything's in there nice and tight. The hackle on this fly is dark done. I've already prepared this feather, so it's ready to tie in. I tie it in on the, from the back side of the hook, Tie it onto the hook shank first, and then I marry it right to the post. I'll show you again here from the opposite direction. So I bring the feather in from the back, tie it onto the uh, hook right behind the post, and then I marry that right to the wing. And I make sure that it's curved towards me once it's standing up. That'll make sure the hackle lays correctly when we wind it. I'm going to put the tail on this fly so I angle the hook in my vise so I can get at that bend a little easier. This is some dun or gray colored antron. Tie it in right behind the wing and then I work my thread all the way back down halfway down the bend or so. Tying that in with some nice tight thread wraps. This is just uh, supposed to represent a little shuck, so I trim that nice and short. Next up is some crystal, some pearl crystal flash. I tie that in right on top of the hook shank. Work my thread back to the tail. And then the dubbing on the back half of this fly is just um, olive or bluing olive colored super fine dubbing. I make a nice tight little noodle on my thread, maybe uh, an inch long or so. And I start right in front of that shuck, wrap my, uh, wind that all the way up about halfway up the hook shank or a little closer to the post. This one's a little fat, but I'll kind of bind that down with the ribbing. So then I spiral that crystal flash forward over the back half of the fly and tie it in. shows me tying it in from the opposite direction. Two or three nice good uh, wraps of thread. You can trim that off. I usually put a couple more wraps in there just to make sure everything's in nice and tight. Now I can prop that hook back at a normal angle in the vise so I can finish this fly. The thorax is some uh, also some dubbing. This is some squirrel dubbing that's been dyed olive. I like squirrel because it's nice and buggy um, looks great on the front part of this fly, which is supposed to represent an emerging mayfly. So I got about uh, another inch or so of dubbing on there, and I wrap some behind the post, some in front of the post, do a couple figure eights, and then I wrap the hackle. I always wrap my parachute hackle counterclockwise, so I bring it down away from me, 
and then I wrap it counterclockwise starting at the top of those wraps and winding down. I usually try to get about five wraps in there. Once I do that, I pull it straight down on the far side of the hook, hold it nice and tight, bring my thread underneath the hook, behind it, and one wrap and it's tied in there nice and tight. Get my thread out of the way so I can trim out that hackle. Here's what it looks like from the opposite direction. Counterclockwise, first wrap is right on top of the thread wraps. Each wrap is below the previous wrap, working my way down towards the body. Get five wraps in there, and I pull it down, tie it off underneath the hook shank. There you go, right in front of, uh, right behind the eye. Two or three good wraps, get the thread out of the way. By resting it on my vise, get it, my scissors in there nice and close, trim that out. From the opposite direction, you can see that again. Nice and close with my curved TMCO scissors. Bring my thread back. Do a couple more wraps of thread right in front there. Just to make a little thread head. Get my whip finisher out. Do two or three whip finishes. And done. Now we can trim the thread out. And when we do that, we can also trim any loosey-goosey hackle fibers you might have trapped. And then we just trim the wing. Trim it to, oh, the length of the body or so. Mm. Got one extra straggler there. I'll get that out of there. And our BWO Spotlight Emerger is done. A great fly for any blueing olive hatch you might come across. Check your fly.